Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the Android Time Picker. Uh, in the description of this video, there's a link back to the full tutorial along with the source code, so go ahead and check that out. And let's get started. So the first thing is you need to open up Android Studio, and then what we're going to do here is we need to change the colors of the app. So to do that, you go to the app, and then resource, and then values, and then the colors .xml file. So you double click on that, and then here we have the color codes. So go ahead and copy the color codes from the tutorial, and you paste them right here. Once you do that, the second thing we need to do is we need to go to the layout. So let's close the values folder, and then you go to the layout folder, and then you double click on the activity underscore main dot xml file double click on that and then here we have the uh, layout file which has the root layout as the relative layout and then what we're going to add here is an android edit text so let's add it now and uh, here we have the edit text so the, the edit text is positioned in the center of the screen that's why we have the the center horizontal and center vertical set as true and then the width is match parent and the, the height is wrap content and then we have the android hint set as choose the time okay so that's it for the activity underscore main so close that and then go to the java file so let's close the resource folder here they open all the java folder and then the main package and you double click on the main activity or java file so inside this file what we're going to do is we're going to define the edit text that we've just added inside the layout file and the time picker dialog so here we're just referencing the the edit text based on its id and then we're setting an on-click listener for the edit text because we want to allow the user who clicks on the edit text to show the, the time picker dialog. So inside the on click method here is where we're going to initialize the time picker dialog. So the time picker dialog takes the main activity, which is the current context, and then it takes the hours, minutes, and a Boolean value. So Inside here we have another method that's called on time set. So what we're going to do here is once the user clicks on the dialog, sorry, clicks on the edit text, we're going to show the time picker dialog, which allows the user to choose the time and whatever time that the user has chose, it will show up inside the edit text which is a choose time dot set text and we're passing the hour and we're passing the minute inside the edit text here so let's give this a run and let me show you the output so here we have the output in the emulator so we have the edit text so once you click on the choose time and uh, here we have the dialog, the uh, the dialog for the time picker, which allows you to choose the time. So here we have the uh, the bar here that takes the colors from the it takes the color from the accent color, and then we have the clock, and then we have the two buttons OK and the cancel button, and we have this keyboard right here. I'll talk about that later on. So for now is once. The user clicks on, sorry, choose the time. So let's say I'm going to choose 12 a.m. And then we click OK. So you get this value, right? So once you click on the edit text and choose another time. So let's say it's 12, 13, and let's choose p.m. Click on OK. And here we have the time. So let's first work on getting the uh, the for example, right now, if I click on the edit text and I choose the time, right, I'm not getting the actual AM and PM right here. Or even before that, let's work on getting the current time. 
for example if I click on the edit text it doesn't show the current time so you can see on the clock here in the emulator I have 4.58 p.m. but you can see here it says 12 a.m. so it's not following the exact time for the emulator here so let's work on that first and then we'll work on the a.m. and p.m. format so go ahead and, and go back to the Android Studio and then what we're going to do here is we're going to use the calendar so the calendar is the one that's going to get us, give us the the current time so we we define the calendar and make sure you add the correct imports and that is the java.util and then we have the integer the current hour and the current minute so go ahead and initialize them inside the on click method of the choose time which is data text and we have them right here okay so we have the calendar and this is the calendar the current hour and the current minute so we're going to use these two values inside the time picker dialog so to do that all you have to do is take this current hour and current minute and pass them inside the the time picker dialog so you see here we have the hour of the day so remove the zero and replace it with the actual hour which is the current hour and then as for the minute replace the zero with the current minute okay so let's give this a run and let's see the the output so here we have the output so click again on the choose choose time in the text click on that and here we have the actual time uh, sorry the current time so you can see in the emulator I have 5 p.m. and inside the time picker it's showing the correct time 5 p.m. you can see even the p.m. icon is actually chosen so I click on OK, then you got this time. So the next step that we need to work on is getting the AM and PM. So to do that, go back to the code and then define another variable, string variable called AM PM. As it's shown right here. And then what we're going to do here is inside the on time set method of the time picker is we're going to do some an if else condition so what we're going to do here is we check if the hour of the day so from where we got the hour of the day is from here so if the hour of the day is greater than or equal to 12 then we have the pm we initialize a mpm variable as pm so if the user has chosen like for example 12 pm right so it's going to be p so the it's going to be initialized as PM. Otherwise, if it's uh, less than 12, then we have AM. So to do that, we're going to take this AM PM variable and then we add them inside the uh, the edit text. So here we have the choose time dot set text. So we're passing the hour and the minute, and then we'll add another variable, which is the AM and PM. So let's give this a run and let's see the progress. Okay, so we have the up running. So click again on the edit text. And then we have the time 5.02 p.m. So let's choose a let's choose whatever we have right here. So click OK. And here we have the p.m. So it is correct. So let's give it a try for the a.m. So it's 5.02. Instead of p.m., I'll choose a.m and click on OK and here we have the AM right here so we're done with the AM and PM and uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to format the time you can see here it's, it's, uh, I mean like it's not following the actual format so it's not desirable so let's work on that so so that looks really nice and clean so go back to the code and then what we're going to do here is something really simple so you can see here what we're going to do, we're going to format the time so that we we format the time so that looks a bit cleaner than before. So to do that, we're going to use we're going to do something like this. Choose so we're setting the the value inside the edit text, and then we're formatting the text by passing these two types of formats. So what we when we use these type of formats separated by the uh, the sorry 
with two dots, which indicates the time, right? And then we're passing in the hour of the day, which is here, and the minute, and finally the a.m. and p.m. So we're saying, okay, I need the I need the the hour to be formatted following this format for the hour and for the minute. Okay, so let's give this a run and let's see the progress. So we're on the app. So here we have the app running. So click again on the edit text. And we have the dialog time picker. Time picker dialog. So click on the, let's say, the current time. So it's 5.04 p.m. Click on that. And here we got the, the desired format. So it's 17.04 p.m. Let's do that for the morning. So click on the edit text. And then choose a.m. instead of p.m. And click on OK. And here we have 0505 a.m. Let's choose another time. So let's say 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And click OK. And here we have 10 a.m. Let's wait for p.m. It's 10 again, but it's p.m. So click on OK. And here we have 10 p.m. So let's click on the dialog. Sorry, click on the text. And let me show you the, the, the keyboard that we have right here. So this keyboard is actually uh, a new feature that comes out that came out with the with Android Oreo. So, what this feature does is when you click on that, and it gives you another way of actually inputting the time instead of like by the clock. We're actually inputting the actual number right here. So it's five. Let's say we're gonna put it at five thirty. So we put three and then zero. That's why you see we have the keyboard show up here and then we choose the a.m. or p.m. and let's say 5.30 p.m. so click on OK and here we have 5.30 p.m. so click on the edit text and here we have the clock so there are two versions that you can use to set up the time so it's on clock and here we have the inputting the actual numbers like this so this is basically it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like it, do give it a, do give it a thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these awesome tutorials, please subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or you're having any difficulties with the code, go ahead and email me and I'll try my best to help you out. Thanks again for watching and happy coding.